Okay, welcome to my channel. I tell you, what a day. I could have went to jail today. It wasn't for my mom. Take care of my mom. And this little guy, step up. Step up. I probably would have. Give me a kiss. Okay, go over there. Go eat your millet. Um, I went to go grocery shopping. First, let me say this. I can't tolerate racism in any shape or form. And I am a mother of biracial children. My boy's daddy was black. And people are surprised because I'll tell them, yes, I know my sons are black. But I don't see it. I just see my kid. They don't understand that. Now, I have received racism from white people because my kids are biracial. I kind of expected that. But honestly, I also got it from blacks. I got it from both sides. So I don't tolerate any kind of racism at all. And I went to go grocery shopping. I mean, honestly, I wasn't in Arkansas 24 hours before I ran into somebody who was racist. But at least the other guy, when I told him, don't use that N-word in front of me, I won't tolerate it. He knew enough to shut them up. This guy didn't. And I'm grocery shopping, and, and I get by, I got to get some dog food, and I wanted to get my bird some treats. And I buy this bird stuff, and there's not much there. And I was really talking to myself, and I said, God, they don't have much for birds. And this guy says to me, they don't? And I says, no, he's an older gentleman, and... This is Arkansas, right? So I didn't think too much of it. And he's, he was telling me how he had a friend who had birds. And the bird, she had scars all on her hand for birds biting her. I says, well, that comes with the territory. If you own birds for any length of time, you're going to get bit. He goes, what do you do about it? I says, nothing. If they bite you, you just can't react. You can't yank your hand away because if you do... If you get bird bite, oh, I bite, they go away. I says, in taming one, you don't chase it with your fingers. That's asking for a bite. And I says, he says, well, I wouldn't own them there just like I wouldn't own a monkey. I go, why? He says, I couldn't deal with their bite. I says, no. And he starts talking about monkeys and apes. And I, first, I didn't think too much of it. I says, well, yeah, they um, shared 98% of our genes that's why you'll see chimpanzees and gorillas they got ears like humans they got a nose very similar to humans and they got a mouth very similar to humans and even their toe their feet is somewhat similar to humans because they got 98 percent of the genes that humans got it was kind of god's little joke and he goes yeah and you know what he says Blacks look just like apes. I says, excuse me? Seriously? I says, don't even talk that way. In my presence. He says, well, come on. He just wouldn't give it up. Wouldn't let me walk away. He says, you gotta admit, they look just like a gorilla. I told him, I says, you know what? You're a racist pig. He goes, oh, no, I'm not. I got black friends. I says, well, how white of you? That's, that's very white of you. Would you have those friends had they heard you say that blacks look like apes? I don't think not. I wish I'd have filmed it. I would have put it on YouTube and hopefully one of those friends of his has seen it. I wanted to punch him so bad. I mean, you make a statement like that. I take it as a personal affront because my kids are biracial. 
You assaulted a black person. You're assaulting my kids. Plain and simple. I wanted to hit him. And be honestly, I probably would have hit him. I probably would have went to jail. And the only reason why I probably didn't hit him is because of my bird and my, my mother. I have to take care. I mean, who, who would take care of my bird and who would take care of my mother if I was in jail? If it weren't for them, I don't care if it was in the middle in Walmart. Because, I mean, there was a scene. People were stopping and looking and listening. I would have. I had a hauled off. I was going to say he better thank God that I had my mother to take care of. Because I would have went off on him. But yeah, and honestly, even if I had went off on him physically, well, it, it wouldn't have solved anything. He still would have been a racist pig. It wouldn't have changed his views. And I would have been contradicting what I've taught my kids. I told them, you know, feel sorry for people who are racist because they have low self-esteem. They don't think about much about themselves. That they got to cut somebody down through their sexual orientation the color of their skin, or their religion, or, or something. And, and I remember he was telling me at school, um, he was in the gym, and a young, and one of the other, he was with his friends, and a kid came up and called him the N-word, and my son said, well, I don't want to fight you. He went to walk off. Now, the boy made a mistake. He took that as a sign of weakness. And I taught my kids, you never hit in anger. You never hit somebody in anger. But if they hit you, lay them out. Plain and simple. Lay them out. You got a right to protect yourself. And he went up to Bob, my son, and started hitting him. Well, my son turned around and, and just laid him out. Now, it may not have been an issue had... The principal would have spelled both boys for fighting. Yeah. Wanted to let the white boys stay in school. But my black son, he wanted to expel. The only reason he couldn't was he had witnesses that Bobby tried to walk away, that the other boys started it, what he said, and everything else. I wasn't even in Arkansas 24 hours before I ran into a racist. The first one, at least he had some freaking, well, I, he had brains enough to know when he said, then told me, he says, oh no, you won't have to call a tow truck. We haven't done that kind of stuff since we've been lynching the niggers. And I looked at him and I says, do not use the N word. In my presence. At least that guy was smart enough. He shut the hell up. And just booked. He got the car started. Called my mother. He didn't want to face me. But this guy. He he wanted to like follow me. And. Say all this crap. And. Ugh. I really, really wanted to hit him. And honestly, I wouldn't have cared if I went to jail. Had this happened anywhere else, and I wasn't taking care of my mother, and I didn't have birds, I'd have went to jail. Because I would have I, I would have broke my own rule, and I would have went physically off on him. But, you know, it's like, had I done that, it probably wouldn't have accomplished anything because it wouldn't have turned him unracist. He still would have been racist. It would have just given me a satisfaction. So that kind of stopped. But at least at that point, when I called him a racist pig, I mean, I literally looked at him and said, you know what, you're a racist pig. He went off and said, yeah, just go on with your old racist pig, but get out of my face. So 
So I, I don't know, people. What is wrong with people? Why do people... You know, my daughter one time said to me, because she was seeing how... Because my daughter's white, and she was saying, why is this happening to her brother? All this stuff. And I says, honey, I can't answer that. I can't explain why people will hate somebody for the color of their skin. The only thing I could say is they must feel really low about themselves and they got to cut somebody else down through their, their race, their religion, their sexual orientation, whatever, to make themselves feel better. Because that's a tough question to answer a kid. Why do people be so racist? against other people, other races. I mean, I'm 65 years old, and I still don't understand it. Anyways, happy diamond painting. I'll catch you later.